kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking uh, probably in. I don't know what that is there. B probably B one. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it. Here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Cause... I look at how you guys going today. The chickens growing and. Oh. How old are the chickens? Two months. No, they're four weeks old. They're four weeks. No, they're four weeks old. Sophia's giving them water. Sophia's giving them water. <laughs> what are we feeding them now? We'll feed them some chocolate. Bully. And we'll have some turkeys. We'll have some turkeys. Hmm. How much is a turkey? Same more than a chicken. Mom, how far is my Fill it all the way up. Come on, right to the top. Okay. Oh, right. No, not full. Okay. Need some more. Not right there. Right full. Yeah, yeah. So we started off with chicken feed or chicken starter. And now we are on to straight barley. Went through the mixed mill. They seem to like it better than the whole grain. You do an update on your cows like the chickens? <laughs> <laughs> So, we had some cows that weren't where they belonged. They made their way out and into the hayfield side over there. So we're gonna go try to string some wires up so that they stay where they belong. We've been getting some pretty good rains here the last couple days, so there hasn't been too, too much on the go. But it's kind of nice out again today here. There's more rain coming tomorrow, so we'll see how much we can get done. And I think Antoine's gonna try and do some seeding again here this afternoon. We got 200 acres of canola to go, and then that's a wrap, so. Anyway, I'll head over here and see if we can get a wire up across where they're crossing the creek. Well, later on in the day here, it's windier than fuck, but we're up at the uh, north section here on that bit of fencing we were doing with Ryan there a month or so ago. We're gonna work on getting some. The cows are gonna be on that side. Working on putting up, uh, we gotta put three strands of barbed wire on this chunk here. So, start getting that up and then I'll uh, bring you back momentarily. What? Oh, where are you going? Oh, okay. Go back to the truck then. It's a lot of quad for a six-year-old, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, so I got the first strand done. Uh, Dad and Keegan ran the second. So I've got to go back to the start now, and uh, there's a bit of a corner there, so I'll tighten it up first, and then I'll come back here and do my pull with the stretcher, and I'll just kind of keep on going here. There was uh, one piece of wire here already. Uh, that we had from last time, so we got to push a few posts in here for for it because it's just along the trees right now. But anyway, other than that, we'll keep hanging wires. Alrighty, so Grandpa Henry came out to investigate, but we got the gate made and three strands of wire up to this point. So we got to push in a few posts now 
along the slough here. Uh, we got the three strands of wire already ready to go. Just that we need uh, some hosts in here. It was a bit too frozen we were here last time, so it'll be good now, I think. We'll just push them in with the bucket on the tractor here. And uh, it'll just be a matter of stapling them up, and that'll be that. Um, not going to quite have enough wire. It took more than we thought to do this up and down here, but I don't know. It's going to be close anyway. Won't quite be done, but we finish it up when Ryan brings the uh, first load of cows down. There'll only be like a, an hour or two worth of stuff left, so. Anyway, Dad's just bringing the truck and the trailer with the posts and whatnot over, and uh, we'll get this done. The rodeo continues. <laughs> they uh, already circumnavigated around Dad's wire that he put up. So, have to try and go a little bit deeper, I guess. Ah, uh, I don't know. End up having to put a wire right across the creek, which is kind of a pain because it always gets washed away or torn down and it's hard to get it across, obviously, because it's deep. This fucking bitch here is the worst one of them all. Whatever. Go in the water, dumbass. She's getting shipped in the fall, this one. She thinks she's a fucking deer. Well, whatever. Stay out and starve for a little while. You're stupid, Brockle. Well, whatever. She can stand in the creek then. We'll go get all the others in. Stand on her own. Anyways, the fence is all pretty well done. That grandpa's there anyways. There's just a bit to do at home here now because of these morons. But once we get them in here, we'll uh, bring some canola seed to Antoine. He's going to start on my... Uh, on the last 130, 40 acres there that we've got to do, so. Come on. Let's go, Susie Q. Anyways, <laughs> talk to you in a few. Fuck the McCormick, this is cooler. <laughs> so, we have 50 pen here. We're going to go and hook them on the bail shredder for something different. That's a job this tractor's never, ever, ever, ever done in its whole life, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> well, we're going to go and give them half of a grass hay bale, just so they got a little bit more to eat, because that's part of the reason they're escaping. There's not a lot in there in that north pasture, so... This will give them something to keep their tummies full at least for a little while and do the same thing tomorrow. I don't have a lot of bales left, so I'm being kind of skimpy here, but... They're going to be going to pasture here in the next week or week and a half, so... Anyway, we'll get her hitched up here and we'll bring you back in a couple minutes.
tail in there yet, so we'll do this again tomorrow. Gonna ration things out for them a little bit that way. I don't want to give, uh, I've been kind of saving good hay like that for uh, the Speckle Park heifers there that have had calves just to keep them on real good feed. The others have been given barley straw and pea straw, which is good too, but I mean the hay is a little bit better, but anyway, this will uh, keep them entertained out there that way for a little bit, and uh, I mean it's kind of fun with the 50 10, so. <laughs> anyway, I guess, we'll go park 50 10 now. I see Antoine coming over the hill over there with the drill, so. I'll run him a few bags of seed out to the field, and that'll probably be a vidya. So, we'll, uh, I guess we'll bring it back again here in a few minutes. Well, there we go. Twan's giving her. Had a, made a quick little live stream there. You can go and go back and check out if you want or whatever. Other than that, though. Probably where I'm gonna leave you for this video. If you want to see some more there or whatever, make sure you hit the like button and leave me a comment. I fucking like them there. Subscribe if you haven't, and talk to you in the next one.